The sky is not completely dark, but uh, with the Hyperion, 10 millimeter by the Hyperion, I can actually completely res resolve all the stars in the M30, M13 Hercules globular cluster. That is beautiful. Uh, it's the first time I'm actually trying it under the night sky, so it's a really good result. As I mentioned, I'm using the Bother Hyperion 10 mm and I'm observing the M13 Hercules, I mean, global cluster in Hercules, and using the 12 inch Dobsonian flex tube. I compared this eyepiece with the 13 mm, 9 mm, and 20 mm APM 100 degree eyepieces. It is really good. <laughs> I never thought that that can be that so good. I had this eyepiece for a while. I never used it. This Hyperion 10 millimeter is excellent on this target. It frames it beautifully. I can see the edge of the uh, field stop. It, uh, the global cluster is completely inside. The two star companion stars are also nicely framed. Beautiful. This is the sky watching myriad actually, 9mm, and I'm comparing it with the Hyperion 10mm. And I must say, the Hyperion shows the core uh, of the cluster very clear, better than this. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> That's really good. That's better, far more better. Individual stars easily resolved in this. I can look even for propeller in this, but dude, this one, no, it's a bit messy. Okay, I'm using the 10 mm telos and definitely it's better than the Hyperion. Yeah, in Delos the individual stars are better defined and uh, brighter, some of them are really brighter. So, let me just use the Pentax XW 10 mm. Okay, comparing this tree and the M13 global cluster, like I said, Delos and uh, Pentax are very similar. Probably Delos is a tad better on this target. And third comes, or second comes, the 10 millimeter Hyperion, Father Hyperion 10 millimeter. Jet planes in the night sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no I do And I wish that I could do it I could 